riding in the wet. Mm. It is something that's going to strike fear into people. We know we've only got a small contact patch on the road. These tyres are very good these days and bike suspension's very good. You're not riding around on an ice skating rink. You get conditions that are slippy, yes. But have a little bit of confidence because if you haven't got confidence, it's going to transfer, the tension's going to transfer through you into how you perform and how the bike handles. You've just got to relax, it's hard, I know it's hard, but if you tens tension, you grip the handlebars too hard, you'll not get the best feel for the bike. And riding in the wet is all about finesse, I've said this, it's about riding smoothly. Lots and lots of clutch work. Understand, of course, a lot of lads and lasses will know this, but some don't, that the, your motorcycle clutch is very different in relation to its mechanical side and its use on a motorbike to what it is with a car. What you've got to do, what you've got to understand is it's a wet clutch, which means it's not going to end up in a situation where you're going to wear it out because of overuse. It's made for it. And your clutch isn't there just for changing gear. You use it all the time. A little bit of finesse and it's a half clutch even when you're not changing gear you can actually use it as you're in, in a bend just to control the power delivery and make it a bit more smoother I can smoothen out the power delivery which is imperative in the wet you don't want any sudden jerkiness you want to ride smoothly and this is the same as riding in the dry if you're riding the dry and practice wet weather riding in the dry and what I mean by that is again goes back to my favorite little word finesse and then when you've got it in the dry you just transfer that smoothness to the wet and the best riders are the smoothest when you've got that nailed you can concentrate on the traffic you can concentrate on everything and just make it an art form make it an art make it your riding life goal to be the smoothest most competent rider you can possibly be soaking in every, like a sponge every bit of information around you as you're riding along asking yourselves the what is it's wet i'm a little bit close to that car in front does it need to be a two second gap but actually no it needs to be four concentrate on smoothness concentrate on doing it in the dry then transfer your smoothness. i'm talking about your clutch control and your brakes and get them all flowing really nicely between each other your accelerator your back brake your front brake your clutch your steering input relax your hands on the grips and again it's hard if you're nervous and you're tense but if you just relax your bike will perform it's designed for it and just ride with finesse and smoothness and if you do that with no jerky movements, your wet weather riding will be second to none.